last time I was here, I woke them and ended up with a mane full of bats. <sighs> Thanks for being my basket holder, Spike. Basket holder? I thought it was your bodyguard. What? Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, that of course, too. Oh, for once I wish unicorn magic wasn't so luminescent. Spike, you wake the bats. Turn that off. I can't. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? I'm so glad you two could come. Of course. We so rarely get a chance to relax and just visit. There's usually some crisis we have to deal with. Some pony always needs our help. But today... Twilight! There's something wrong with Spike! What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, my scales just started glowing and burning. Little is known about dragon culture, but this is a phenomenon we've seen before. It is the call of the Dragon Lord. Dragons glow whenever the Dragon Lord has need of them in the Dragonlands. Great! Uh, how do I make it stop? The only way to end the summons is to answer it. You must journey to the Dragonlands and see what is expected of you. But the, but the Dragonlands are full of dragons! And they're ghastly creatures! Oh, oh not you, of course, Spikey Wikey. But remember that rotten garble? How could I forget? He would have burnt us to a crisp if you weren't there. If I had to go to the Dragonlands, would you two come with me? Oh, oh my goodness, I'd love to. We are sadly lacking any information on dragon culture and customs. I could research them, maybe even write an article. This could be my chance to make a great contribution to the knowledge of Equestria. And be there for Spike, of course. Be very careful. The Dragonlands are particularly dangerous for ponies. It would be wise to be discreet. I'm sure I still have the dragon costume we used the last time we stuck into the Dragonlands. <laughs> I think we might want something a little more practical this time. Mm -hmm. Well, it may be practical, but this disguise is flattering in the slightest. It's not supposed to be flattering. It's supposed to blend in. Shh. Hey, look! It's our old friend, Sparkle Warkle. It's Spike. Are you sure your pony friends didn't give you a pony name? It's nice to see you too, Garbo. I didn't say it was nice to see you. It's not. I don't like you. Was I not clear about that? <laughs> hey, that's my rock. Oh, really? Then why aren't you sitting on it? <laughs> <laughs> Equestria, hear me! I have been Dragon Lord for longer than many of you can remember, and my reign has been extraordinary. Agree with me! Who is that? It's Dragon Lord Torch, dummy. No, next to him. That's his daughter, Princess Ember. I wouldn't even look at her if I were you, unless you want Torch to eat you. This is fascinating. Dragons are notoriously reckless, but they do whatever the Dragon Lord says. Unfortunately, according to Dragon Law, it is time for me to step down. Sad, I know. Be sad! <laughs> this is why I have summoned you to compete for the throne in the Gauntlet of Fire! Whomever has the strength and fortitude to retrieve this bloodstone scepter from the heart of the Flame Kano will be crowned Lord of 
the dragons! When the scepter disappeared, the dragons stopped glowing. We are learning so much! <laughs> Excuse me! Ugh, you even sneeze like a pony! The gauntlet is dangerous, for I designed it myself! Only dragons with my ferocity, strength, and determination will be able to finish! We will gather at the cliff when the sun is at its peak! I don't want to be Dragon Lord or Dragon Toast, and I stop glowing, so let's sneak out of here! <laughs> Where do you think you're going, little dragon? Oh, uh, hi, your lordship. Uh, I was just going home. You don't get to leave unless I say you can. Dad, look at him. He's just a runt. Besides, he doesn't even want to compete. Let him go. He is rather tiny. <laughs> I could squish him with my pinky claw. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a joke, it was a fact. When I want you to laugh, I will say, be amused! Of course, your lordship. I, uh, guess I don't understand dragon customs. Another reason why I shouldn't compete. <sighs> Very well, little dragon. I release you. Thank you, and thank you. Where do you think you're going? To prepare for the gauntlet. No, you're not. You're not much bigger than that runt I just sent home. But I'm smarter than most of these boulder heads, and you know it. Being smart won't help you win this gauntlet. It was designed for a big, strong dragon to win, because it takes a big, strong dragon to lead. Besides, I said no! no, no. <sighs> I hate when he does that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I become Dragon Lord, I will make burps an official greeting. Ha! You, please. When I win, I will pillage Equestria for all their pillows. Why should these ponies be comfortable while we sleep on rocks? That's nothing. When I'm in charge, the first thing I'll do is get revenge on those puny ponies. They'll regret they ever crossed Garble. We'll take whatever we want from Equestria and burn the rest. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I hope that burping dragon wins. None of them can win. Equestria's in big trouble if any of them are in charge. But what can we do? There's only one thing to do, and only I can do it. I have to win the Gauntlet of Fire. Oh. What do you mean you have to win the Gauntlet? It's the only way to protect Equestria from the dragons. You heard them. They have horrible plans for ponies if they win. So somehow, I have to do it. There has to be another way. It's too dangerous. Besides, if you win, you'd have to stay here. I know, but there's no other way to keep my friends safe. Well, if you're staying to compete, then we're staying to cheer you on. I thought I released you, tiny one. I decided to compete. I am a dragon, after all. Are you sure? You can't even fly. <laughs> all dragons are welcome to compete, but they do so at their own peril. Flying to flame Kano Island is the first of many challenges you will face in your quest to find the Bloodstone Scepter. <laughs> Good luck! Just kidding. I hope you lose. Thanks, Garble. I was planning on swimming anyway. You can do it, Spike!
okay? Are you okay? <coughs> <coughs> Princess Ember! What do you think you're doing? Only saving your ungrateful scales! Did that seaweed just talk? Ponies? What are they doing here? They're my friends. Friends? Dragons don't do friends. Well, this dragon does. Whatever. I don't care as long as none of you get in my way. I have a gauntlet to win. But I thought your dad said that... I don't care what my dad said. I'll show him and every dragon who thinks I'm just some little princess. There are better things than being big and strong. <laughs> Spike! Now <laughs> <laughs> you do it. Your pony friends made you soft. Uh-huh. You're welcome. For what? I didn't say thank you. Wow, you even smell like ponies. Or is it coming from over there? <laughs> That's just me. I, uh, robbed some ponies on my way over here. Huh. I like your style. Have I met you before? You kind of look like... My, uh, old neighbor, uh, Sandy Rock Beach. Stupid sling tails knocked me down. But I've wasted enough time making small talk. Get it? <laughs> because you're too small to win this. I'm funny. Why did you cover for me? You could have had one less competitor. I could ask you the same thing. You could have told Garble about my friends. Yikes. That looks rough. But that's what makes it a challenge. Are you kidding? Those boulders are huge. Hey, what if we work together? You fly me up there, and I'll help you look out for boulders. Like a second set of eyes. to team up with Ember? You don't know her too well. I do know she could have told Garble about you, but she didn't. I think we can trust her. Her behavior does seem contradictory to everything I've noted about dragons so far. Hey, you, little fella. I've thought about it, and your plan makes sense. Let's do it. Really? Great, it's a deal. Just so you know, this doesn't mean we're gonna pick flowers or exchange necklaces or whatever pony friends do. Good luck, we'll meet you at the top. Spike, I wouldn't have made it this far without you. So I guess if you want to, we could keep working together. I mean, just until we get through that tunnel. Okay. We'll be right behind you. get through.
nothing. Nothing? You just risked everything to save her. And they're putting themselves in danger just to support you. Well, that's just what friends do. Don't you have anyone who looks out for you? Not really. Unless I count you. Which I don't. Because we were only helping each other get through the tunnel. And now we're through the tunnel, so... That's it. Wait, what do you mean? Well, there's only one winner, one scepter, and one dragon lord. So, I guess it's every dragon for themselves. Oh, so we aren't really friends? Maybe if we were in Ponyland, but like I said, dragons don't do friendship. I can't believe Ember ditched me. Oh, you're better off. She was only looking out for herself. She's just like all the other dragons. She's not, though. I know it. She saved me, even when she didn't have to. I don't care what she says. That makes us friends. Is it just me, or have we seen this crevice three times already? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. They all look the same. Except for this one! Look! I can't believe I'm the only dragon to make it this far. You're not. And I'm not losing to a puny, pony-loving dragon like you. my feelings what the spike get the scepter What? You? You have the scepter? But that means that you're... The Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord Spike. Uh, Dragon Lord Spike. That's right. Uh, now go start your long journey home. And give every dragon you see on the way a hug. Don't tell them why. Aww, but that'll be super embarrassing. I command you to do it. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe it. Dragon Lord Spike. Hmm, has a nice ring to it. Dragon Lord Ember. <sighs> Sounds a lot better. What? No, you're the Dragon Lord now. The Dragon Lord is whoever brings the scepter back to your father. Besides, you'll make a great leader. I was just doing this to protect the ponies. But I know you'll protect them just as well as I would have. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. My home is in Equestria with my friends. Well? You'll have at least one friend here, too. What are you doing? It's called a hug. Oh, I don't know if I like it, but okay. Mm. Aww. Emma, you? I know you didn't think I could do it, but I did. I expressly told you not to do it, because you're not- I'm not big and strong, I know. But you know what? I won anyway. So maybe it takes more than just being big and strong to be a good dragon lord. I was wrong, Ember. 
You might not be big, but you are strong and smart. And perhaps that counts for more than I thought. And you will make an excellent leader. Thanks, Dad. Agree with him! Just kidding. That's not gonna be my thing. <laughs> Dragons, hear me! I present to you our new Dragon Lord, Emma! <laughs> the meaning of this? I can't tell you. <laughs> you did well, Spike. With Ember as Dragon Lord, the ponies will be safe, and you've gained us a powerful ally. And a new friend. Plus, Ember said I could write to her any time I had questions about dragon culture. With this much information, I'll be able to write a whole book on dragons. And I gained tons of ideas for a new line of camouflage clothing. I think I'll call it... Camel Mod! <laughs> <laughs>